Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Geo from SwitchRPG.com. We have Monster Sanctuary here today. The publisher just recently sent me a code and I and I kind of wanted to play through it anyway. Uh, so let's let's give it a shot. I know that it's a creature collecting game. Uh, I know it's got the same elemental combat system uh, as Pokemon does. I, I I'm gonna try not to really refer to Pokemon too much. That will probably be it, hopefully. But again, that's kind of what we're what the inspiration here. Obviously, we're dealing with a kind of a platformer type of type of deal again also with pixel art but i mean that's kind of where uh pokemon started anyway so let's let's get going here i did not jump um into much of this game already i, I maybe got a little taste of it maybe about a 30 minutes or so uh, but then i uh wanted to sit down and play with you guys so, all right let's take a look at some of the options we have combat speed we're not going to touch this as of yet i think as you get later on into the game, and when you're fighting a little bit, maybe some more mundane creatures, you're probably going to want to pick this up. Uh, but nothing right now. Uh, preview dodge chance. We're not going to do any of these. Um, audio, nothing here. Uh, what I do find interesting is there aren't any other languages here. Uh, unless there are different builds for different countries or regions, uh, which would be weird. And I don't know that many... Uh, developers do that anyway uh no language options here let's jump into a new game before i drive myself absolutely insane um i don't know what the difference is between these two other than color palette they both look the same to me uh i do like red and orange so i'll just go with that one here name your character as always i will name this character Pilgrim. if you'd like a background on that name uh just Type in John Wayne Pilgrim. There's a montage, and I kind of live by that montage of just him shouting off Pilgrim. Anyways, the Mod Sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Okay. Most of the people in Monster Sanctuary reside in Keeper's Stronghold. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. I'm going to be honest, I did not read any of this. I just jumped right into the play uh, gameplay. Um, they call themselves Monster Keepers, so uh, this, is all, this is all new to me. I just wanted to experience some of the gameplay. Choose your familiar of your bloodline. So we have four choices here. Uh, Spectral Wolf, Spectral Eagle... Spectral Toad, Spectral Lion. Uh, as you can see, uh, they have uh, different types of attacks. Uh, fire and Earth for, for the Lion. For the Toad, we have Earth and Water. The Eagle, we have Fire and Wind. And then we have fire, uh, Water and Wind for the Wolf. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know who to go for. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. I am... Um, I do like toads or, or amphibians for that matter uh, all right i'm gonna go so completely different spectral wolf whatever doesn't matter you are my familiar among among the most prestigious monster keepers there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to the monster sanctuary's history each of those bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. Pilgrim is just getting started, <laughs> starting out to become a monster keeper like his ancestors before him. As with all starting monster keepers, his journey begins on the keeper's trail. His bloodline's familiar bears the form of a spectral wolf. Name your familiar. Um, I am, uh, not very creative when it comes to names. Um, uh, I'll just go Wolfie. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not creative. Sorry. Uh, what would you guys name your, your character if you had a wolf? I mean, I was going to name it after my dog, but my dog's name is Bella. I figured that would be dumb. Just as dumb as Wolfie. So it's Wolfie. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share. 
with your family. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. That is why you must always raise your own monster. They will grow alongside you, and as I will. Just as I will, sorry. Um, and they will fight for you. The best way to gain monsters' loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you will have to fight them to get those monsters' eggs. Look at the blob over there. Look at that blob. Hello, blobby. Initiate a fight. By contact, we will see who will live up to your answers. Oh, okay. uh, jump. All right, I am using the D-pad. Uh, what if I don't? What if I don't do that? Like, what will happen? Anyway, let's let's do this. So, all right, so we're initiating combat. We choose our monsters. We only have uh, our wolf here, so we're just going to start combat. So we have two, uh, three types of attacks. We have, it looks like just a regular physical uh, attack. And then we have, I'm not sure what that, oh, those are items. Um, I'm not sure what that icon is next to the water. I didn't get that far. Then we have an air attack. Uh, we can't see what the monster is weak to right now. Can we? Ah, there we go. Uh, so blob, and you, you'll get the gist of this. Uh, when you click on an enemy, it also does tell you that, so. Uh, weak to air and resistant to water. So what's really nice uh, about this is that it tells you what its weaknesses are. You don't need to do the whole math in your head of, as to what what is weak against what or what is resistant to what. It basically just, just tells you. Uh, so we're resistant to water, so we're going to go with an air attack. So just as you click your attack, you see its stats and resistances and what's not. All right, and we do have a mana meter. You can see a mana meter. Um, the icon where it says 85. So it's showing you what you're going to be using. I'm going to do another air sickle attack. And um, you kind of regenerate this a little bit after. I'm going to kill this monster, but after every attack, you do regenerate some mana. But we'll go after. after uh, we'll go over that in a little bit. If you look at my character, 45. So you see that 45, that tells me I've gained 45 mana back. Um, we're essentially gonna kill this thing right now, so. Another thing that's cool is that all your, all your monsters are back at full health when, um, after battle. So that's really cool. You don't have to micromanage that. All right, cool. So uh, another thing we have here enemy difficulty i don't know how they get that rating a combat duration three turns uh, i don't know if i could have changed that maybe if i got some critical hits uh healthiness 74 percent maybe it's because i took some damage uh execution 59 percent i don't know how that is tallied uh total score don't know what that means uh three star battle rare loot chance 40 percent gold bonus 120 all right so we got a few things we got the blobby egg uh copper which is uh upgrade material and a potion And our, our monsters do level up as well. There we go. You received a blob egg. Now you need to hatch it. Open your inventory. All right. So opening our inventory with X. Um, inventory. Blobby egg. Sure. What's nice is uh, you don't have to... Um, you don't have to breed your monsters to, to get the egg. You just get them by beating the snot out of them. All right. Uh, sorry. Sorry. You get a generic name, too. That does not look right. We're going to grow with Blobby. Is that how you spell it? I don't know. Look, looks okay to me. Blobby! What would you guys name Blobby? Or Blob. The Blob. That is your first monster you hatch yourself. Right now it is weak, so you'll need to train it. There's much more for you to learn, too. You and that blob are quite alike. Now let's continue to keep his trail. All right. It will lead us to Old Buran, an old friend of mine. All right. He is a patient teacher to all young keepers who seek guidance. I advise you to listen to him very carefully. All right. Let's let's get on with this. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. So just uh just a kind of a side note here. Um. I guess whatever animal you pick, they have a different, I don't know, I'll call them an environmental action. 
Uh, I initially played as with the spectral uh, eagle or bird, whatever it is. And what what you do with that is when you jump, you can actually maintain um, your height, almost like a Princess Peach, if you're familiar with that. So you you kind of you're able to traverse longer areas and maybe even gain some height as well. It looks like with the wolf, you can do some slash, and I don't know if that gains an advantage when fighting against something like this. Nope, not really. Maybe it's just more for environmental things. All right, so we have Blobby and Wolfie. Let's go. He has Arcane Bolt. So weak to wind. I think we already kind of knew that as well. You'll also notice that the combo meter goes up. So that was four hits there. So our next attack is 120% damage. You'll see that in the top, top left there. So you are weak to wind. All right, yeah. So that lasts an entire turn. We only have a party of two, so it's kind of the duration is a little short, but that's what we have here. I might pick up these battles because they they do last a little bit long. I'm, I feel like I'm just kind of mashing the A button. Oh, you're going to heal, you jerk. You big blobby jerk. What do you think of this? Dead. Nice. How do we do on that one? Three stars, man. We are not good. All right, 22 gold. No eggs. Cool. Characters are still... Oh, based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you gained a rating of one to five stars. Earning a higher rating increases your chances of getting better drops like rare monster eggs. Oh, that'll do it. I do know, I do recall when I was playing before that there were certain, hang on, we'll see what this says. Young Keeper, tis the Keeper's Trail. Okay. There were certain areas where it looked like I could get into, and obviously I couldn't with the bird, but this might this might change things. Sorry, right, we got uh, Oddish. And Caterpie. Sorry. Um, wasn't gonna say say that, but whatever. All right, Arcane Bolt. Nice. What are you weak to again? Water. Can I get a crit? No crits. Dang it. So you can actually see what their mana bar looks like as well, which is interesting. Didn't notice that until just now. All right, you're done. I don't have your weakness, which kind of stinks. So I'll just go with the regular wolf attack. Oh, that does nothing. What if I just do an air sickle? So this is four times 40%, 160% of physical damage. This is 180. We'll go with that. Oh. A punch to the face. All right, this this should uh, this turn should kill this thing. There we go. Cool. All right, still three stars. We are not good. Oh, but we do have a uh, a magpuller egg and a level up. Nice. As your monsters gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills you should take a look okay we will do certainly um doo -doo -doo -doo. let's take a look at this caterpie i mean <laughs> sorry mag miller magma pillar i <laughs> that was not on purpose um yep that's good for me all right no eggs take a look skills so each have uh hey you're already a level that's not fair all right wolfie has something all right, so I'm going to try and get everything, at least all the basic skills. Um, so from what I've seen, each monster has four skill trees um, indicating all the four skills. And then you can continue and uh, maybe get them better, different. It doesn't look like... All right, it doesn't look like that um, you could only pick one 
and then move on. It looks like you can actually build up on this entire branch and then move on. Uh, but like I said before, I do want to get all the skills here available to Wolfie. And it looks like Mac Pillar has it. I'm going to do the same thing for him. What do you have here? Shield for all. Oh, yeah. That's invaluable. You, you don't have this one here. I think the shield's a little more important for now. Uh, da -da. All right, we're good. Let's go. We have, oh, you can get keys, too. Interesting. I see that in the top right. What are you? All right. We got ourselves something here. Some equipment. We can put that equipment on all of any of these monsters. It looked like they were all interchangeable. It didn't look like they were any... Oh, sorry. Uh, didn't look like they were any different, you know, uh, like our specific for specific monsters. So that's kind of cool. And I also know that you get um, you get equipment specific to the monster keeper, which is really cool. Ah, this is what I was talking about. All right, hey fellow keeper. Did you know that every single one of your monster possesses a special ability? Some can be used to get rid of certain obstacles. Also, you might cons uh, you might encounter some destructible walls, like the one behind me. Go on. All right, so this is what I was talking about. I knew I saw this. I just couldn't do anything. Vital ring. Cool. That was... Uh... Should we put on a wolfie? We're going to share the wealth here. 160 health. That is pretty cool. I feel like I want to keep Blobby, like, forever. He's my first monster, you know. Hey, friend. You were just starting as a monster keeper, right? Did you find some equipment in your monsters already? You can make your monsters stronger by equipping them. All ready, done. Ah, looks like we got more. Another weapon and some mana regeneration and more mana. All right, let's put that on. Um, da, 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 equipment. Let's give that. Oh, that was a weapon, right? Yeah, so is it any better than this? All right, so looking at the left here, it brings my armor down, mana regeneration up. All right, let's share it. Let's share it here. We'll give you this. Yeah, you can, you can only get improved. All right, so this is where the bird, where you can get there with the bird. You can't get there with the wolf. Oh, so freaking close, though. I'll try one more time. Ah, oh, yeah, no, you can't. You can... So you can choose the following monster, right? So I'm going to choose the, this here. And you can... They have different actions as well. So if I had a flying one, I could probably get up there. But I'm going to continue to pick that. So I don't know how many you'll have. Maybe it'll be the entire party, which is maybe... Is it four? I don't know at this point. Battle time. All right, we'll do an arcane bolt. Now this also gives us a chance to see what weaknesses are. So we have wind, fe um, leaf, so earth, wind again. All right, let's go after Blobby here. Anti Blobby. Um, and it was, yeah, it was one. So you should be dead. Nice. Cool. Ow. Hey, I don't have that attack. All right, let's go after you. I think at this point it doesn't really matter. These, these enemies aren't very difficult. resistant to that. How convenient. We'll do uh, Ice Hail. Nice! I got a crit in there. That's always nice. Oh, we got a burn. Nice. Excellent, excellent. Um, So what are you weak against? There you go. You're dead. Oh, we got our first four. Oh, no. Oh, we got a... 
slottable item. Um, not a slottable item. A new item. No eggs on that one. I was hoping for eggs. Oh, it looks like you got a party of six. Now that, that makes sense. Uh, equipment, you get that. Increase that crit chance. All right, let's go. Don't fall, please. What are you? Man prospered through generations found that sit cities and nations connected by dirt and wheel and later by steam and steel. Okay. Ah, uh, see, here's another one. Oh, I can get it. Nice. Bracelet. Do I just give everything a wolfie? Just be kind of stingy? Or should I share the wealth? I mean, it looks like I can, I, I can kind of, like, take it away, give to another. So I think for now, I'm just going to give it to Wolfie. Why not, right? Who cares? Can't get up there. Everything gets tested now. Ah, gauntlet. Defense plus 12. Crit chance 5. All right, I think we'll give this to You're mostly buffing and debuffing, so we'll give it to you. I mean, a gauntlet is... Is it really armor, though? Isn't it kind of a, a weapon? Whatever. Give you some skills. Keeper Stronghold, which is where we need to go. No, I'm sorry. Keeper's Trail is where we need to go. What's down here? Ah, oh, sweet. Copper. I haven't been able to do any... Uh, any of these? No. Um, any upgrading or kind of crafting type stuff? Let me just check this out here first. This is the path to the Keeper's Stronghold. We should continue to on the Keeper's Trail first. And visit Old Burn. Okay, sure. We'll do that. Ooh, right on your brains. Let's do this. So these guys are all wind, wind types. It would be cool if there was kind of a, like an auto combat. I mean, I don't want to make it too anti-climactic or anti-challenging. But I mean, oh, it's resist resistant. Just be kind of cool. I need more monsters. <laughs> that does nothing. Little to nothing. Give me a four. Yes, give me an egg. Yes. All right, let's, let's hatch that egg. So now I have a bird, right? So I should be able to, I could if I wanted to go back and, and get some of those, those things. I think there was maybe one chest we could have gotten. All right, so you, no, Bloppy leveled up. I didn't even know. Where was I? Alright, so this is Acid Rain. Applies Armor Break. And this is Poison. Uh, four times 35%. Huh. 160. I'm gonna go with this. Cool. Alright, so you have Beating. Let's give you another skill. Air Sickle. Featherstorm. So these are both wind attacks. We'll go with this one. This does 160% of physical damage. This is six attacks. Actually, this is really good because it brings the, the counter on the rounds. So you have, uh, you'll have you do more damage overall with your party. So I think I'm going to do that. Cool. Let's go. 
Everything gets tested. This looks suspicious. Nothing. Okay. Man knew of those who wait. Man knew of those who wait in the woods and caverns beyond yet. For, for the treasures within, he longed. For the greed of kings was great. I can't get up there. I don't even think I can get up there with this thing. No. No way. Bam! All right, so you go in with a party of six. I did see that on the when it first initially came in, but you can only—it's three versus three. All right, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. We're getting there. This is as far as I went the last time, my very first playthrough. I didn't go any further than this. I wonder if getting a lot of the, um, whatever they're weak to, like hitting them with a lot of that helps with the rating at the end. That's what I'm hoping anyway. We should get an egg here. Give me a dang egg. No egg. We got a helmet, though. Cool. Any levels? Yes, yes, yes! Alright, we got an item. We'll uh, equip that. Equip that to you. Just wooden sticks. Alright, um... Skills. Alright, you have... Nope, you don't have everything. Let's, let's get everything. I mean, that makes sense, right? One thing I also don't know is that if our mag pillars are all the same, will they all have these skills? We'll, we'll have to see. That I don't know. All right, you have a skill point. Nice. So here's what's important, right? Like these are all based off your physical damage. Well, that one is, this is off of magic damage. So this is something that we'll want to keep an eye on, right? No, that doesn't matter. Heal by 50% of the damage dealt to enemies. I was wondering if I could, if I increase my physical by using any of these skills, but it, it doesn't. Increase magic rating, that does. So that means improves attack rating by one. So would that then increase this? Or increases the damage done by that? I don't know. Uh, so we can also increase this. Crit damage. We need to all increase our crit chance. Don't want that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Every hit is a, it's a passive. I like some of these passives. Increase attack by 10% of the monster's magic. Recovers 5 mana when healed. So this really is uh, synergistic with um, this. So you heal by 15% of the damage dealt to enemies. And then when you're healed, I'm guessing maybe you recover five mana when you're healed. So any healing effect. So that's kind of good. You just kind of have like limitless mana. Not limitless, but good recovery of your mana. All right, enough talking. What, what, <laughs> what am I doing? Heal by 15%. This is cool, but I haven't had to deal with that, right? I haven't had to deal with uh, being hurt. Oh, this is just a tough... This is neutral. Beautiful. 3 times 70, so this is going to increase that. 
So we're going to go to level two here. A good, nice, good, neutral, or normal thing. Ma just magic. I think that's good. All right. That, that was... We talked our way through that. All right. Let's, let's see what else we got here. Oh, nice. We got an orb. 40, 40 magic and mana regen and morning star. So we got ourselves a new weapon. Let's see what those are. So we're spending a lot of time in these menus. So if you do like menu driven games, this is definitely something you're going to like. Um, sorry. Equipment. Huh. Blobby. You needed it. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? No, you can't do a wooden stick. So your magic's going to go down, but you're going to do a lot more damage. I'm basically just keeping you for your <laughs> environmental traversal. Okay? Deal with it. I think that's it. So. Yeah, that's fine. We're good. We're good. Let's go. There we go. We haven't gotten any eggs in a while. Maybe we'll get to here. Ah, oh, you're resistant. Let's go. Oh, that's terrible. That was absolutely awful. All right, let's just let's try and kill this guy. Oh, wow, these these guys just all of a sudden get really hard. What the heck happened? Dang it. Not the bubbles. We gotta make that better. That like does nothing. Oh, this this guy is like Liam Neeson over here. What the heck's happening? Goodness. All right, now we got armor break on you. That do more damage. It's your weakness. Now you're on fire. Try this. Man, even with the fire, he's still not dead. I was hoping to kind of rattle off the rest of that guy's health. Oh, we're dealing with some uh, some tougher enemies or something. Something's happening. Now we need to involve some like strategery. Yeah, this this guy's burning up a little easier. Maybe that guy was a different level. I wasn't paying, paying attention to that. You guys at home will have uh, easier... To, like, you can go back. Or maybe you saw it. You can go back and see what level he was. Like, you can't see... Yeah, this guy's a level 3 blob. I don't know what that other one was, but definitely wasn't a level 3. Two. Oh, we got denied there. All right. Well, Blobby got uh got some skills. Oh, what? That's that's a first. I remember seeing that. Well, let's get him a slime shot. Let's get him all his skills. Let's see what's uh over here. Man plunged into the into deepest abyss forged attacked and slew these endeavors were without solace the cost on humanity nobody knew i don't know where i'm going looks like i'm going down what is that hello sir hello young monster keeper your first time in the monk on the keeper's trail is it this is a teleporter stone you can use it to travel quickly to the teleporters you find me I'm just a treasure hunter. I make a business selling things. I find here and there I uh, want to buy something. Um, 
You know where Old Burn is? Old Burn? You could find them heading further west. Do we want to buy anything? Oh, do we have to go through all of this? Um, buy. What do you got? Phoenix tier. We haven't needed this. Thank goodness. Defense. Mana regen. Let's, where, where am I? Where my gold at? Let's go with defense. Let's buy something. Yeah. Who am I gonna put that on? Defense, defense. You have the least amount of defense. Let's give that to you. Nice shell on this. Magmalar. What do you say? Hey, fellow keeper. Did you know that you can change? Yeah, yeah, I knew that. This allows you to use different monster abilities. Yes, I, I knew that. Here's my issue, though. Oh, whoops. I don't know if I have a monster that can true through that, though. Oh, yes, I do. 150 gold. Red gem. Upgrade material. Cool, cool, cool. What do we got here? I know that we're, What the? I know we're supposed to go further west, but... This episode is getting a little bit longer, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end... Yeah, I have nowhere else to go. I'm going to end the episode here. I want to thank everyone for watching. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. What lies beyond the door? Mountain path key required. Ah, interesting. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.